if one is performing moderate exercise, then the pyruvate molecules may be transported to the mitochondria of the cell, where they can be broken down completely in the presence of oxygen. The mitochondrial respiration can produce 36 molecules of ATP from a glucose molecule compared to a net two molecules of ATP produced from glycolysis. And so if there is time to perform these reactions, say while an individual is walking or jogging slowly as opposed to sprinting, then pyruvic acid and its byproduct, lactic acid, should not accumulate and an individual can continue exercising for a longer period of time than one can sprint because lactic acid is not accumulating. In strenuous exercise of short duration, glycolysis is providing most of the ATP for that exercise. In aerobic exercises, the majority of the energy to power this exercise is coming from mitochondrial respiration, which uh, requires oxygen but produces carbon dioxide and water as a waste rather than lactic acid.